everyone. Welcome back to 31 Days of Yoga for Mental Health. I'm Daria and it's day seven, mobility. I can't believe it's already been a full week. Today's practice is about mobility, getting into some flexibility and agility and mobility and all of the illities that there are. All you'll need today is yourself and a space to move and let's jump in. We'll get started today in child's pose. Come to the back of your mat Toes come together to touch, knees spread out nice and wide, and then walk your way all the way forward and down, forehead comes down to your mat. Begin to deepen your breath, fill up from bottom to top and back to front. Really feel the breath moving into the back line of your body through each rib. Open mouth, exhale and sigh it out, let it go. Good, just like that one more time. Inhale, fill all the way up. Open mouth, exhale, clear your breath, clear your mind, clear your focus and arrive in your practice. And now begin when you're ready to move into your ujjayi breath, fading it in nice and easy. So never forcing the breath and try to smooth away any ragged quality or any roughness to the breath if you notice any catching see if you can even it out nice and smooth just like a wave as you exhale let your hips sink a little closer to your heels and then inhale again to feel more length in your whole spine and both sides of your body. Exhale, release, relax, and drop. In today's practice, we'll be focusing on finding increased mobility in the body, really moving to the thresholds of range of motion and expanding, allowing our bodies to let go of old holding patterns in both the body and the mind. Increased mobility in the body is really just more freedom, more allowance, more space to go and to move and to keep the momentum forward. Increased mobility in the body also mirrors increased mobility in the mind and emotions. As you move through this practice, continue moving with body, mind, breath, spirit, soul, all linked and connected. Inhale and make your way forward to tabletop. Bring your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. And now let's take some hip circles. Begin by sending your whole pelvis forward to the front of your mat, let it sink and then revolve over to the right. Move around to the back and to the left, just like a big stretch, wake up through the whole body, moving from the pelvic girdle around in a circular motion. One more time, front to the side. Try to keep fingertips grounded and firm and pressed into your mat the whole time. And now let's reverse the direction over to the left. Take it back over to the right and take it forward. These can be as big or as subtle as you feel. Maybe keep it a little smaller to begin, or maybe you're just ready to go, jump right in with some big sweeping motions. Nice. Return to a neutral spine, flat back tabletop. Bring your right knee a little bit more to the midline of your mat and send your left toes back behind you. Keep them tucked for a second and then reach your right arm to hover in front of your face. And now press so much into your left palm and the top of your right foot, your right toenails, that the left foot can float and hover and lift up and away, reaching long from right fingertips to left toe tips. Pull your low belly in and up and really squeeze everything into the midline even as you reach out in both directions. Inhale to grow a little longer and exhale, reach your right arm out to the side and your left leg out to the side for awkward airplane. Really firmly stay pressed down through left palm and right toes, right toenails to allow you to just hover here, be like an airplane, just floating in the sky. One more little lift and then reach right arm back forward, left leg 
to the back and stay with it just for one more movement. Kick your left heel into your left glute and reach around with the right arm to grab for the top of the left foot. If you're not quite here, if you can't quite connect, that's totally fine. You can stay hanging out here or maybe stay with this idea of reaching around, just pressing down into your mat. If you can connect, begin to kick your left foot into your right hand and open through the heart, really staying firm. Involve your fingertips and this helps to really stabilize you into your base and allows you to grow up a little more. Nice, and then slowly, gracefully, gently, place the right palm and the left knee back down. Rock your hips a little side to side, sort of decompress, and then we'll take it to the other side. So the left knee maybe comes in a little more to the midline, and you can play with this in your body. Everyone will be a little different. Really ground down through right fingertips as the left toes step back, and then reach your left arm out long in front of you. Press down so much and pull your whole front body to your back body so that you can lift your right toes up and away from your mat. Imagine that your right hand and your left knee are tractioning together as your left arm and your right leg reach away from each other, moving into the midline and also expanding out away from it. Good, inhale, grow a little more through fingertips and toe tips and then revolve to awkward airplane, sending your right leg out to the side left arm out to the side and float and hover here. Press more away from your mat to feel more floaty, more hovery. If you come out of it, just get right back in, no worries. One more little breath and then reach back forward. Stay with it. Kick your right heel into your right glute. Reach around with the left hand. Grab maybe for the top of the right foot. You can stay right here. Stay wherever you are or kick into your hand with your right foot. Stay solidly pressing down through right palm and maybe gradually begin to open your heart, open the whole front line of your body. Maybe you take your gaze up a little bit. Good. And exhale, slowly release it all down. Rock the hips from side to side. Spread your knees wide and sink your hips back for child's pose just to take one breath here. Big, full inhale, fill all the way up. Exhale, let that go. Inhale, press your way up to tabletop, tuck your toes behind you and lift all the way up and back to downward facing dog. Big exhale, big full body yawn as you lift all the way up and back. Step out the feet, hug your forearms together like they're magnetized, they're pulling together as your shoulders rotate down and out. See if you can pull your very lowest set of ribs together and notice if this makes any difference in the back line of your body, if this maybe allows you to elevate your tailbone and your sit bones up and back a little bit more. Inhale, lift up high onto the toes and roll slowly forward to high plank. Pull your core in and up like each vertebra is a little vacuum that's sucking your front body, your stomach, your belly, in and up. And then exhale, float it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, rise and shift forward, high plank. Exhale, lift it up and back, downward facing dog, belly, in and up the whole way there. One more. Inhale, lift up tall, hinge forward, shift forward, wave forward, high plank. Press all 10 fingers into your mat and stay and hover and float. And right here, can you see if your ribs are flaring, pull them together, even the very lowest set of ribs together and down. And maybe this helps you again to feel just a little floatier. The more you press away from your mat and dome through the shoulders and elongate through the back of the neck, the lighter you feel. One more breath here. Good, big inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, up and back, nice. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your feet up behind your wrists and take ragdoll. Drape your torso forward like it's something really, really heavy but also wavy. You can imagine that your, 
your body is is made of something silky, like a like a curtain that's just hanging down, no effort at all. Grab for opposite elbows and sway side to side. Picture the creation of more space between each and every one of your vertebrae. So the whole spine grows longer, 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 stretching out, stretching forward. Good. Reground your hands. Maybe stay with the feet hips distance apart. Take a halfway lift, grow the spine really long with the crown of the head float. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, Tadasana, sweep your arms out to the side and up overhead, keep the feet hips distance apart. Exhale, forward fold, dive it all the way down. Halfway lift, inhale, grow long. Exhale, Chaturanga, plant your palms, step or float back and flow. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale, hips go up and back. Inhale to reach your right leg high and open your hip up. Stack your hips one on top of the next. Try to keep your right armpit rotating, revolving down to face the mat still. So the shoulders are still square even as the hips open and then bend at the knee and just take some nice and easy little circles to get into the hip joint, sort of lubricate there, beginning to create more mobility, more space. Inhale, kick high, square the hips. Exhale, low lunge, step through, right foot comes down between your palms. Hug your feet toward each other together and inhale to rise, high lunge. Fingertips flicker up overhead, send your right foot down and forward. Inhale, grow long through the spine. Exhale, launch forward, warrior three. Right into the right leg, hug your belly button to your spine. Reach your fingertips forward and your left toes back. And then inhale slowly, rise it up. Keep your left foot hovering, floating next to your right and come all the way into one-legged mountain Tadasana. Fingertips float up overhead. Inhale. Exhale, take your left piece fingers to your left big toe and make a connection there. Bring your right hand to your hip and stay here with a knee bend or gradually begin to straighten through the left leg. And this can be any amount. You can stay here, you can stay here, you can stay with any piece of the journey to that full extension of the leg. And just remember that the full expression, full expression or <laughs> You know, that, that peak, what we think of as the peak of the pose really isn't the peak and it's not better and it's not worse than any step along the way there. Stay with where you are and really feel into what you can learn from where your body is. And now reach your right fingertips forward and begin to take right fingertips and left foot in a circular motion out and away from each other, reaching the left leg out to the side and the right fingertips out to the side, staying with that firm hold onto your left big toe. And maybe the knee is bent and that's okay. Inhale, good, and take it all the way back forward as you exhale, drawing your right arm and your left foot together like magnets. Bring it back to one-legged mountain Tadasana and then slowly step through, arms come to cactus, move through airplane, bend into the right leg and then step your way back into high crescent lunge, left toes come down behind you, inhale. Exhale, bring fingertips, palms down to your mat. Crawl your right foot so that it's right in the middle of your palms, in the middle of your mat and roll onto the knife edge of your right foot so the knee falls open out to the side. And now step your fingertips a little forward and a little out and really tent up onto your fingers like you're, there's something on the floor that's in the way of the palms coming down. So stay really nice and active and up. And now pull your right foot towards your left foot to sort of elevate the hips. We'll go for some lizard pulses. Inhale, send your weight a little forward. Come onto the very tippy toes of your left foot and send the back of your heart forward, lift it up. Exhale, come back, slide back the left heel in space and begin to fold a little forward. And now inhale, pull your feet together, lift the hips, lift the heart, shift it forward. Exhale, come back. 
Inhale, make your way front, open your heart, really grow like a reptile, and exhale, crawl it back. Two more like this, you got it, inhale. All the way front, exhale all the way back, stay nice and active and charge through the left quad, one more, inhale, reach, exhale, shift it back. Bring your palms a little more to the midline so that you can lower down to the left knee. Keep the right foot exactly as it is on the knife edge and just rolling out onto the, the side so the knee is coming open. And you can stay right here if this is feeling good for you. Or an option to play a little more. Step your left palm out really, really wide to the side of your mat. Maybe come up onto fingertips even and then kick your left heel into your left glute and reach all the way up and around with the right arm to grab for the top of the, the left foot. As you inhale, pull right foot and left knee together. And as you exhale, open the heart and maybe relax the left quad to pull your heel in a little closer. Really flex your left toes into your palm if you have your connection there. And just melt. See if you can be open to releasing tension, open to releasing any old holding patterns in your body or in your mind right here for one more breath. Nice, release, take your left toes all the way down, send your right arm around in a circle all the way. Bring your left knee up and away from the mat and slowly shift back to pyramid pose, straightening through the right leg and shifting your hips a little back. Maybe your left toes step out at about a 45 degree angle. You can adjust the width of your stance, set it up so that you can really feel that nice stretch down the right hamstring. And then again, tent up tall onto your fingertips. If the floor isn't accessible to you here, you can bring some props, something, a book, a block, anything under your, your fingertips here so it's a little less intense. Inhale, grow your heart forward. Crown of the head stays long so the cervical spine is in line. Exhale, bow inward towards your right leg. Inhale, really, really grow. Send your right hip back and your left hip forward and exhale, fold. One more and more active like that. Inhale to lift, grow. Spine is flat and stretching in both directions and exhale, release. You can bring the palms down now or relax the hands a little bit and just begin your process of unfolding as you fold inward. Send breath into the space where you would like to create more space. Stay active and charged through the right big toe mound to keep the right knee from hyperextending or getting too locked out, even as you stretch. And see if you can encounter resistances or little sticky spots as opportunities to sink in. Not as something bad or something to be avoided, but something to really take a deep dive into and explore and move through. It's like these, these layers stacked onto the next and each time you move through one layer, there's another layer to explore. There's no end destination with flexibility or with mobility in the body or in the mind. There's always something more, another layer. One more breath here. Good. And now turn both sets of toes, all 10 toes, to the left side of your mat, the long edge. We're setting up for wide-legged forward fold. Just bow it inward. Your feet might step even wider than mine, or they might be a little more narrow, just depending on where you are and how much openness you're feeling in the back of your legs today. But just, just like a ragdoll pose or a forward fold, Really let your whole spine decompress. You can keep a little micro bend in the knees if that feels good. And fold. And now stay here or maybe reach your arms to grab for your ankles, crossing the right arm in front of the left. 
and stay here or take a little twist. Press more into your left palm to open and send your head through under your right elbow, getting into a really nice, easy, easy twist. If this doesn't feel awesome, come back, come out a little bit. Wherever you are, remember to breathe long brush strokes of breath. Ride your own breath. And if you took a little twist, take it back to the center and release your fingertips, your palms back down. And now bend into your right knee and turn your right toes a little out and slowly make your way to Skandasana, keeping the left heel and the right foot pulling, tractioning together as you sink and melt your hips a little down. And you can take fingertips underneath you or out in front of you or maybe pull your feet together to keep a charge through the legs and bring your palms together at your heart. We're just here for one breath. Inhale to pull your feet together. Exhale to sink your hips. Good, and now either use your hands on the floor, crawl through low lunge, or bend into the left knee, keep the palms at heart center, moving through horse or goddess pose, and then swivel into high crescent lunge, bending into the left knee, facing the back of your mat. Reach your arms up tall. Exhale, plant the palms down to frame the left foot. Pick up your hips. Come up high onto the ball of the right foot. Press your palms down into the floor so much that maybe you can float and hover and step the left toes, left foot all the way back, downward facing dog. Take a moment here to observe, to notice any subtle or not so subtle differences between the right side of your body and the left. Without preference or without labeling, one is better or more open. Just notice. Good. Inhale, left leg kicks high. We open the hip and take those little lubricating knee circles, getting into the joint nice and easy, easy, easy. Keep the left armpit facing down towards your mat. And then inhale to kick left heel high, square the hips. Exhale, low lunge, step it all the way through all the way down, squeeze your belly button in that transition to your spine. Inhale, pull your feet together and rise, high crescent lunge, fingertips rise up overhead. Send your left foot down and forward as you grow the spine. Exhale, launch into warrior three. Really ground, root down through the left leg, even as it's calibrating and adjusting to the shift of weight. Stay steady there and then inhale, pull everything up like a scale. All at once, arms reach up overhead and the knee eventually hovers through and pulls up for one-legged Tadasana. Left foot melded into your mat all the time. Inhale, exhale, take your right hand to your hip, or I'm sorry, take your left hand to your hip. Right peace fingers will reach to grab right big toe and straighten it out maybe to the front of the room with your breath, staying solidly rooted down through the left foot. If you notice your right hip popping up in space, send it down, in, and back all at once. Inhale, grow, reach left fingertips forward, and then exhale, take left fingertips and right foot away from each other on a journey in a circle out to the sides of the room all at once. Grow, maybe the knee is still bent, that's okay. And then bring them back together like magnets, pulling Together, you can't even control it, it's just happening. Don't think, just do. Inhale, reach fingertips up high, bend back into the right knee for your one-legged mountain. Exhale, step it through, arms come through, cactus, back to airplane, bend into the left knee, and slowly we step into high crescent lunge again, reaching the right arms up overhead, and just settle, take a moment to feel cozy and safe right here. Inhale. Exhale, bring your palms down and step your left foot right to the midline of the mat, rolling onto the knife edge, the outer edge of the left foot. And now setting up for lizard pulses again, fingertips step forward and out to the wide edges of your mat. Pull your feet together, really, really pull them. Notice that this elevates your hips and allows you to maybe open your left knee out a little more. Inhale, shift it forward, come 
all the way to the top, the tips of your right toes and send your heart forward and then exhale, slide back. Inhale, wave forward. It's like a roll through the outer left hip. Exhale, glide it back. Inhale, come through. Exhale, slide it back. Two more, you got it, inhale. Pull, this movement might be really subtle. Exhale, glide, but keep that intention wherever you are in your mobility journey. Inhale, reach. Exhale, all the way back. Good, bring palms back down to the mat. Keep on the knife edge of the left foot as the right knee lowers. And stay here, stay right with this if that's feeling good. And then maybe step right hand out to very wide edge of your mat. Kick your right heel in and reach up and around to grab for the top of the right foot with the left hand maybe. And now stay with that idea of inhaling to pull everything to the midline to the central column together. And exhale to melt the hips forward and maybe melt the right heel into the right glute a little bit, relaxing through the quad. Inhale, pull it together. Exhale and sink. Open your heart, keep a little baby buoyancy in the right elbow, not locking it out. One more breath here. And reach all the way around in every direction. Left fingertips come down, right toes come down. Come back to the sole of the left foot, stepping it back to the midline. And we'll pop it up, hips go up and back for pyramid pose. Right toes go a little out, maybe 45-ish degrees to the side of your mat. And we'll fold, but actively first. Inhaling to grow the whole spine like a halfway lift, but the feet are in pyramid. And exhale, bow forward, fold it in. Inhale, grow the spine, send left hip back, right hip more forward to square them. And exhale, bow it forward. One more time, inhale. Grow, 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 grow. Exhale, bow. Keeping the length in the spine, even as you bow. And remember always, pause the video if you need to grab props, something to prop yourself up so you can feel a little more supported and so that you can find really your own threshold, your own edge to stretch from rather than going in a little too far. Really. Take it from where you are. Breathe really deeply into the grain of the muscle, along the grain of the muscle where you're stretching. Let your breath move in big strokes through the back of the left hamstring. For your last breath here, Infuse it with a little bit of patience and compassion and love for yourself and exhale, let it all go. Revolve, rotate to the side of your mat and take wide-legged forward fold again. Let everything hang. You can bend into one knee and then the other if that feels good. You can just really play here. Swivel your hips, take any movement that feels nice and good, like a nice release. And then if you take it, cross your arms, left arm this time over the right to grab for opposite ankles. And you can stay here with this or take your little twist, press more into the right palm to bring your head through under the left elbow and then Open it up. It might, it should feel hopefully really nice in the left side body, creating more space between all the ribs. Just a nice, easy twist. And then come back to the center. This time we bend into the left knee for Skandasana. Turn the toes out a little bit. Keep right heel and left foot pulling together. Activate it all the way down. Sink the hips and keep the hands grounded or maybe bring them in to your heart, palms at heart center. One breath here, inhale. Exhale, melt your hips. And then 
with, ha with hands on the, the earth or not. Come up through horse and then we revolve, bending into the right knee to, toward the top of the mat again. Inhale, high crescent lunge, swivel up tall onto the ball of the left foot. Heel floats above, inhale, exhale. Plant your palms, lift your hips back in space, press through so much that right foot picks up and floats all the way back, downward facing dog. Inhale, fill all the way up. Open mouth, sigh, exhale, let all of that go. And notice now how your body feels again in this space after both sides are complete. Inhale to reach right heel tall. Exhale, pull your right knee to your right tricep and hover it here. And then spin your right shin at 45 degrees to hover above your mat and stay here for three. For two, press into the palms for one and come all the way down, shin lowers to the ground. Keep your left toes tucked behind you and just sort of walk your leg a little bit back. And if you can, bring your palms, your hands up to your hips, or you can keep fingertips down next to you or in front of you, wherever you are. Inhale, pull your feet together, rise, elevate your hips up and away from your mat and then exhale, sink it all down. Keep the toes tucked, two more like that. Inhale, pull and lift and rise. Maybe the fingertips float up overhead with the hips and exhale, lower it all the way down. One more time. Let's all play with those arms. Inhale, reach, if you can, reach them away from the floor. Reach the arms out and up overhead like you're a big butterfly sweeping up and then exhale, lower it all the way down. Untuck left toes, grow super, super, super long through the whole spine, and then begin to fold forward. I like to bring my palms together sometimes and rest my forehead down on my thumbs. You can also stack fists and rest there, or always grab a block or something and rest your head there. Let your breath really deepen. Explore each piece of the unfolding process, like a flower opening up. And each step along the way is beautiful in its own way. One more breath. Good. Make your way slowly back up, lift it up, press into your palms, tuck left toes behind you, and we'll take that little activation that we like to do sometimes. Press into the palms, lift and hover your right shin up and away and let it glide all the way up to the right tricep, maybe the right armpit, and then step it all back, downward facing dog. Inhale to reach left leg high, exhale, Bring your left knee to your left tricep and hold and squeeze and then swivel, pivot your, your left foot to like a 45 degree angle-ish or whatever it is for you. And then we slowly lower it down. Step, glide your right knee a little bit back. Keep the toes tucked and then make your way up. Maybe bringing hands to hips or down to your mat. Inhale, pull everything together. Squeeze it up, hips lift. Exhale and sink. Let this feel really good. Inhale as you lift, like you're just floating up and away from the mat, and the more you squeeze, the floatier you get, and then release it back down. One more time, inhale, rise it up. Maybe the fingertips flicker up overhead, and then exhale, we sink it down. Open the heart, open the chest, grow long through the spine, untuck right toes, and come all the way down. Maybe readjust your position for you to feel as open as you can or to find that sweet spot where you feel the stretch that's manageable but still good. <laughs> that right in the middle place, that balance between too much and too little. 
Let the back of your neck be long. Face is relaxed, jaw is relaxed. Notice if the opening, the increased range of motion or mobility in one area of your body, the spaciousness there has caused any other areas to close or tighten up or tense. And then see if you can infuse all of it with more softness, even the spaces where you feel density. One more breath here. Make your way all the way up. Palms come down, tuck right toes behind you. Press into your mat and squeeze right knee into right tricep. Let it ride like an elevator all the way up. The length of your left arm squeezing into the tricep, maybe the armpit, and then we step it back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward and lower down to your knees and then let your feet swing all the way around to the top of your mat and come out straight in front of you. And then wiggle so that you're really sitting on your sit bones, get any extra flesh out of the way. Sit up nice and tall, flex your toes towards your face, reach your arms up overhead, inhale, exhale. Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Grab for whatever's accessible to you. It might be your thighs, it might be your shins or your ankles or your toes. Really flex your feet actively towards your face and as you inhale, grow your whole spine really long from crown of head to tailbone. And as you exhale, begin to melt your heart down closer to your legs. Option here to keep the knees bent. We really wanna prioritize the lengthening of the spine here in this stretch. So if you are with bent knees, keep, just keep the spine long. With every inhale, remind yourself to create more space between each and every vertebrae. And with every exhale, let it get meltier. Tune into the sound of your own breath. Don't be afraid of the sound of your own breath. Really breathe with sound. Let the quality of the sound, the quality of the breath be healing and be inviting more release. Walk your way back up. Bend your knees, step the soles of your feet flat, plant the big toes down to your mat, reach your arms out in front of you and slowly roll all the way down, dropping one vertebra down to the mat at a time, keeping the toes connected to the mat all the way there. Bring your knees into your chest and then reach your legs up high just nice and easy. They don't have to be super straight. Just let everything sort of flush down out of your, your legs. Big release. You can stay here with this or maybe make your way into plow. Pick your toes up and roll. Maybe bring your hands either down flat onto your mat or they can grab behind at the base of your low back and then bring the toes down behind you. Deep, deep breaths. If this is not feeling comfy or good on your neck, come out, no worries. Just come back to that grounded spine with the legs lifted up. And then if you're in plow, from plow, bring hands back to your low back and take one foot at a time up for shoulder stand, Sarvangasana. Let your elbows 
help to support you underneath. And just let your legs feel super light, super floaty. Decompress all the way from tips of toes down. This is a really great one to practice at the end of class just to flush everything out and deeply release into the legs. And slowly make your way back down. You can bend your knees to roll down the length of your spine. Draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Squeeze into your tightest, littlest ball. And exhale, drop. Shavasana. All of your limbs go out really long and expand. Allow all the space in your body that you just created to settle. Feel like your whole body has just been aired out, like all the windows have been opened. All of the old residue has been swept away and now you can just breathe it in and release into it. Let your breath be like a fresh breeze moving through with so much ease into every little corner of your body. You can stay as long as you can. And I encourage you to stay as long as you have time for. And when you're ready, just bring that little flicker of movement back to fingertips and toes. Deep in the breath, paint the insides of your body with healing breath. And reach it long, arms go back behind you, stretch from fingers to toes. And roll to fetal pose, wherever you wanna go. Connect with your body here for one breath. And slowly begin to press your way up to a seat. Let your seat be as full of space as your body feels after airing it all out. Shoulders float down away from your ears as your palms come together at heart center. Take a moment to breathe for you into all the new space you've created, all the opening. And exhale to release any leftover residue out of your body, let it all go. Float your thumbs up to your third eye and bow it gently forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your space and your time and your practice with me today and for making it through our first week of 31 days of yoga for mental health. If you've been with me for this whole week, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to hear from you. But a new week starts tomorrow, so I'll see you then. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.